Americans are tensely watching a broadly fighting pair rule the titles. Also, it's not over the White House. Will what is going on settle? Will those two crazed youngsters resolve the issue? Or on the other hand will there be another terrible break? Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. I'm, obviously, discussing Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Tabloids report that two years into their marriage, Lopez and Affleck's relationship is rough. My Instagram and TikTok takes care of are loaded up with stories and theory. Unknown records guarantee that the two are depleted. They differ on cash and Affleck is supposedly, worn out, and, looked at, reports say. Superstar interests will generally uncover more about the way of life than the famous people themselves, who are simply people wading through similar broken world most of us are, however with additional cash and more pleasant boats. Furthermore, it merits mirroring that in 2024 the unending interest over a moderately aged, microwaved extra of a VIP coupling needs to accomplish more with the sensation that this has happened before of our ongoing political environment than it does with Benefer themselves. America is currently in the third round of an election cycle that has brought us the same characters, stakes, scandals, and issues. It's Donald Trump conflicting with Joe Biden. America is secured in an intermediary war. Yet again our titles are overwhelmed by rape charges. Furthermore, as Affleck supposedly is, we also are each of the somewhat worn out and looked at. Less Americans are perusing the information than did in 2016. Furthermore, the news has scarcely changed. Outlets are as yet imagining as they don't have the foggiest idea what Trump implies when he says he will boycott fetus removal. It indicates, you idiots, that he wants to outlaw abortion. Savants are as yet criticizing liberals for being withdrawn and not paying attention to their base. For citizens under 30, Trump has been on each official polling form since they arrived at casting a ballot age. Maybe we are gotten into a, groundhog day, bad dream situation through our own effort. It's 2016, too quick too enraged, and this time with 34 additional criminal convictions. America is in a significant season of progress and commotion. Indeed, even before a worldwide pandemic killed 1.1 million Americans, America itself was wrestling with political developments that addressed underlying prejudice and assault culture. People of color matter and hashtag MeToo tried to uncover predisposition and brutality intrinsic in frameworks of force and governmental issues and look for responsibility and equity. Furthermore, the appointment of 2018 saw an outstanding change in the quantity of ladies in chosen office. This shaking of our country's frameworks uncovered its breaks and defects down to the establishments. Then came the global pandemic, which forced Americans to see firsthand how our social safety net is broken and how America survives on the unpaid labor of women, particularly women of color. Also the insufficiencies of our medical services framework. These severe truths are a ton to observe and, surprisingly, more debilitating to live in. Americans are battling with the increasing expenses of lodging, lease and food, while our duty dollars assist with subsidizing Israel's merciless military activity in the Gaza Strip as opposed to severely required social administrations at home. A jury just viewed a previous president to be liable of 34 crime counts, and he's running for president once more. Regardless of their political leanings, Americans predominantly have a cynical perspective on what's to come. It seems okay then that we'd need a revisitation of something that feels good and safe or possibly more agreeable and protected than anything that might come straight away. We've proactively seen an endeavored overthrow, what's next could startle. Certainly, there are other fish in the ocean, however it makes fishing less fun when all you reel in are sharks. What's more, in a period of political commotion and fundamental disintegration, it's difficult to oppose the charm of wistfulness and its guarantee to paint everything, even the detestations of the past, in a complimenting emanation.